Okay, here we are at Mongalo Cricket Ground, a really favourite place of mine in the bush. I love the bush and uh, I come out here to play. And I've got the didgeridoo bone here. And this is the, uh, the Mongalo Riff. <laughs> So it's a very happy kind of uh, rhythm and uh, this place really brings me alive and with the didgeridoo bone I can do all these uh, tone changes so in Mongalo I go down to the sea and in the didgeridoo bone you've got the chromatic horns So that's the bone, and uh, this here is the face base, this thing on my face here, and as I tap this I get a, a, a snare sound, like with a scratch, and with it in my mouth, like so, I go, mm, mm, and that makes like a kick sound. So that combined with the scratch gives me the beat in the music, and that catches all those really low frequencies. And it's really great for uh, vocals because you only need to make a very soft sound, and it's quite loud and strong. And as you can see with the didgeridoo, if you look down here, you can see the ombature of the didgeridoo is quite large. And what happens is that the resonance sounds, the sounds resonating inside the tube, resonate up through the tube, through the lips, because the ombature is so big, the ombature, that's this opening here. And the sound of the didge inside the mouth is quite complex. And I kind of like that a little bit more than the acoustic sound sometimes. And with this seismic sensor, I can do the whole thing live. And then what I do is that I loop the rhythm like that and then that gives me free then to harmonize the melody. Hey Mongalo she flows. And Mongalo is actually the river over there and this place is called Charlie's Forest. Hey! Isn't that good? The dog loves it here too. Come here Sash.